Well, hi, everyone, and welcome back. We are glad to have you with us in the Followers of Jesus series, Jeff Hopper with Dennis Darville. And uh, we have talked a little bit about what it means to follow Christ and how there's a cost in that. And today we're going to start talking uh, through a series of studies that look at some specific aspects of following. And the first one has to do with faith. But before we get there, I want to ask Dennis a question. Uh, Dennis, I'm somebody who notices things maybe a little more than I should on the golf course. But, you know, I kind of get excited sometimes about cool little details. Uh, sometimes the way a, a bunker has been raked or, you know, yeah. something, did they paint the top of the cup, you know, so you can really see it, you know, those kinds of details. What are some details that have caught your attention? You know, I love to teach the game as well. Oh, yeah. Not as good as you or Jeff or others, but especially to youngsters. I just, I love it. Last fall, I had the chance to train 22 international kids for four solid months every day for two hours. One of the mistakes I saw every one of them make, and I see adults make this mistake all the time, and it's one of those small details that I think people fail to notice, or maybe they've just never been taught, is the alignment of a tee box. Oh, a tee box can be at an angle. Sure. And if, if you get on that tee box and you let the tee box dictate your alignment, you're going to blow it 10 yards, 20 yards right. I don't know if it's a trick, you know, of Pete Dye or some of the old greats, you know, Donald Ross or whomever. Uh, but it, I, th I think it's an important detail to make sure that you see, okay, the tee box is here, but the fairway is there. I've got to adjust. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good. You know, one of the details I love is not an architectural thing or a maintenance thing. It's it's when you get to play early in the morning mm. and the sun is hitting the dew and you're you see the footsteps of the people who've gone, you know, out earlier than you have. That's good. Yeah, that's yeah, good. And you see those footsteps in the dew. And those are really meaningful, I think, in a conversation like this one about following, because there is that idea of the footsteps of someone who's gone before us. And one of those people is Abraham. And scripture talks about how Abraham set a, a course for us in terms of faith. And faith is the thing that we really bank right. on right. in terms of our walk with Jesus, isn't it? Yes. I mean, I, I love this subject matter, following Christ, and then now we're trying to drill down on some particulars. Yes. And a follower of Christ, if, if we stop and just pause for a moment, think about it, how could you follow anyone, much less the king of the world, without trust? And trust and faith really are synonyms. And sometimes I like to just throw the word trust out there. Uh, because it helps kind of put some meat on the bones of what we often talk about faith. Because uh, scripture has a lot to say, as you well know, about this notion of faith. Sometimes people are confused and think it's simply mental assent. Do you believe? Another word that we often use for faith. Do you believe in God or do you believe in Jesus? Well, how many men and women I've met that can say, I believe in this historical Jesus that he lived but they've never personally put their trust in him to follow him with their lives. Mm -hmm. And so following, following Christ requires that you trust him. Yeah, absolutely. It does. And, and I, the faith thing is so significant uh, because otherwise we have this kind of bushwhacking. We have to go out there and blaze the trail. Mm. But when we look at somebody like Abraham, who was imperfect, who made plenty of mistakes. Yeah, thank the Lord he used him as an example. Yeah, well, that's it. That he set an example of faith. And faith in what? In the one who has set a perfect course for us. So we don't have to bushwhack. We just have to follow what we've been given and yeah. trust that it's the right course. That's right. You know, a study of Abraham's life is a fascinating study in and of itself. When he put his trust or his faith in Yahweh, he left. You know, trusting the Lord oftentimes means that you have to depart from a previous kind of life. Yeah. Faith produces, genuine faith always produces 
good works. Not to be confused, of course, but you know, if you look at Abraham's life, I love that text, Jeff, that you recommended, Romans chapter four, the footsteps of faith in Abraham's life. Uh, it's fascinating because Abraham was required to trust the Lord for not just the beginning of his journey, but for the entirety of his walk with the Father. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you, Dennis. Very good to be with you again. And thank you all for, for joining us in this conversation. I know if you're involved in a Lynx Fellowship, you'll have much more to talk about in your time together. And uh, that's why we give you this, this opportunity. We'll see you in a week. We have uh, several more things to talk about with regard to following Jesus.